Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today, we're back with What's It Way and in honor of the United States baseball postseason, we are hitting to all fields playing a little game of pepper with a broad range of sports watches, formal watches, simple watches, and complications. So we're going to launch with a standard in the segment. In the opinion of some, the world time watch, the Patek Philippe 5130J, now supplanted by the 5230, but you can see at 96 grams with a full gold deployant and gold case, this one 39.5 millimeters compared to its 38.5 successor, it's a weighty matter, but we're going to go to the referee for resolution in a dispute against an unexpected independent league rival. This, of course, being the Chopard LUC Regulator Quattro with 8-day power reserve, chronometer, and Geneva seal movement. Stacked mainspring barrels, 4 total. And as you can see, that's a lot of complexity, but that's also a lot of gold. This one easily outweighing the Patek. If you want the massive class on your wrist in the high horology segment, you can't go wrong with the regulator. Handsome, complex, and as limited edition, scarcely seen. Now, we run out into the mainstream of the market with a watch that's well-loved but rarely seen. Rolex for 2016, arguably releasing the watch of 2016 with the Daytona 116500LN, the ceramic bezel and stainless steel. As I said, this may be the watch of this model year, so let's see how it fares when we take the tail of the scale. Okay, still a franchise player, 142 grams, that's mighty impressive, but we've got a veteran coming up, and let's see if this old school veteran, the 116509 in white gold, can upstage the rookie. By a mile. Sorry, son. You may be rookie of the year, but you got a way to go before MVP. White gold so far taking it at 213 grams. Now, I'm a fan of old and new, and sometimes you revisit the classics, but it's in the old timers game. This is a transitional Rolex 18038 of the type built from 1978 to 1988. And you can see with President bracelet, 36 millimeters in yellow gold, weighing in at 128 grams. Now we jump into the modern era with the 228239. Now we're talking about last year's sensation, the Date 840 in white gold, 40 millimeters, the successor to the Date 82. All solid links, solid end links, milled clasp. Tons of mass, tons of class, with a beautiful anthracite diamond cut dial and the traditional Date 8 complications. A very handsome watch, and in this, the 60th anniversary of the original Date 8. A perfect pickup. Now, you can also see that while I've brought the heavy metal, I've focused for the most part on well known names, but I'm going to go a little bit off the reservation here with a name that you may not associate with. Mainstream horology, although you're certainly going to recognize this showboater. Perhaps not the MVP, certainly not the rookie of the year, but let's face it, for pure spectacle, this is your all star game home run derby champion. Hublot King Power Foudroyant Limited Edition in King Gold. Again, this guy swings for the fences. He either strikes out with fans or he hits a home run. That's kind of the nature of Hublot, and that's the nature of this watch's game. Now, back to the mainstream of high horology and polite company. We bring in a surprisingly heavy hitter from Audemars Piguet. Pretty much a boutique exclusive. When you see the rose gold with the blue dial, you know you're talking an absolute marquee AP dealer or a factory boutique as the blue dial has the highest rejection rate among all of the tapisserie style galvanized dials. This is the one that's so scarce simply because of difficulty of production that in general AP keeps it for its own factory stores. Full bracelet, 41 millimeters in rose gold. And there you have it. You've got the tail of the scale from around the league. You've got veterans, rookies, MVPs, and home run derby showboaters, but Audemars Piguet taking the crown as the past, present, and future king. This is your 2016 What's It Way All-Star Game MVP. Oh.